And because I called out, because I refused to lie for them, now they get to threaten my, my, my career, my wife, and make my wife, you know, in tears all night. This is the Get Ready Production Social Media Network. What's up, my people? I'm back with another episode of Let's Talk About It. Here we go again, another alleged cover-up. This time, it's about data withheld by Governor Cuomo of New York associated with COVID-19 deaths in nursing homes. But the story behind the story is much more alarming, if that's possible, because investigations have revealed that infected seniors were allowed to return to nursing facilities even though the death count began to grow. And if that's not enough, in March, Cuomo quietly slipped into the budget a provision called liability ability protection for nursing homes so they can't be sued. Stick around for the upcoming video to see where the story is going now so we can talk about it. His top aide, um, his top aide had um, lied about uh, hiding data uh, and information from the federal government for political reasons. She met, she admitted to that in a private meeting and it was exposed and the governor called uh, for about 10 minutes, it seemed like one hour, berating, yelling, and threatening that I have to issue a statement um, to that, that invalidated what I heard. Um, he asked me to lie to cover up uh, for his staff. And this was done in front of my family. Now he called me, my wife was next, right next to me. I was you know, right about to bathe my kids. Um, and it really just put, you know, my family and my and my wife um, into shock um, and trauma for many hours, and she couldn't get any sleep that night. Um, and it's highly inappropriate, you know, for the governor to have. So he done said. That. He and, said. You know, he said he can destroy you. I mean, he literally said that. And, and what else? He said, "I haven't seen his anger. I haven't seen his wrath, and he will, um, you know." just tell me uh, he he will go out and he's been biting his tongue but he will go out tomorrow and destroy my political career uh, my you know everything like he would say how bad of a person i am to everyone in public um but it was just a yelling and at one point he, he said and they asked me if i was a lawyer um, and i said no and i said you obviously then don't understand what you heard and this is what you heard, and this is what you're going to say. This is what you're going to write tonight and and issue a statement, not tomorrow, tonight. That's how we will move forward. Uh, those wow. are his words. Um, okay. And, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, I, it's, look, it's, it's stunning. It's stunning. I mean, so let me just give everyone a chance to understand. As you know, uh, they're pushing back on this. Cuomo's senior advisor just put out a statement tonight, Assemblyman Kim, and it says in part, Mr. Kim is lying about his conversation with Governor Cuomo Thursday night. I know because I was one of the three other people in the room when the phone call occurred, obviously on the governor's side. At no time did anyone threaten to, quote, destroy anyone with their, quote, wrath, nor engage in a cover-up. That's beyond the pale and is unfortunately part of a years-long pattern of lies by Mr. Kim and Ms. against this administration. And then they put out a rushed transcript of comments you made during the Zoom call with Cuomo's aide. They say they don't align with what you're saying now. What's your response to them? They're calling you a liar. Well, I think Governor Cuomo is very good at implicating um, his aides, and he's been trying to implicate me. Uh, they did implicate us in that private meeting when his secretary, Melissa DeRosa, admitted to obstruction of justice, of hiding uh, information in fear that it would be weaponized against the administration, in fear that we will go back and legislate and repeal legal immunity, the stuff that you and I have been talking about for months now, yep. in fear that we would undo all the policies. That that's why they cover up the data, and she admitted it. She said, you want the truth? This is the truth. And she said that she hid that information. That was what the governor did. In my opinion, there are so many things wrong with the actions taken by the Cuomo administration. All he had to do was isolate the infected seniors, not return them to the nursing homes, avoid the increase in the death toll, and there would be no need for liability protection for nursing homes. Now the New York Attorney General is conducting an investigation. An assemblyman is charging Cuomo with threats and intimidation. And CNN is reporting they will no longer let Cuomo's brother interview him on the network. Should Governor Cuomo step down? Let's talk about it. Bringing you a variety of stories that will entertain, educate, and make you think. 
Thank you for spending some of your time on the Get Ready Productions social media platform.